Obaseki don't tell political leaders, make them they try to listen to their people, as in receive report of NSAS panel. A do state governor, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, on Tuesday, received report of the 28-man judicial panel of inquiry, with them formed to investigate police brutality, human rights abuse, and extrajudicial killings by the police unit with them they call Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SAS, for the state. When Obaseki received the report from the chairman of the panel, Honorable Justice Ada Ehiga for Government House, he come hailed the committee members for their commitment, courage, and diligence. Oga Governor come ashore say government go carefully review the report of the panels and go ensure say them implement the recommendations. He said the NSAS protest now eye opener to the fundamental injustice where they disturb the society and say make our leaders they try to listen to their people. Let me start by appreciating specifically the chairman of this panel. We thank God that we have people like Justice Higamuso retired who are still available to work for our people. You would all agree with me that Justice Higamuso brought to play not only her deep knowledge in the administration of justice, but also her motherly instincts in the way the affairs of the panel was conducted. I also want to thank the other members of the panel. Each one of you came into this panel with not just your constituency's uh, views, but also with a kind of commitment and diligence to get to the truth of the matter. I also want to appreciate the members of the security agencies who were part of the panel, because I can imagine, I can understand, and also appreciate the pressures and tensions that would have existed in the deliberations and hearings of the last nine months or so. At this point, we have just received the report as government. We need to be able to go through the reports with great diligence. And I can assure you that we will look at each and every recommendation you have made as a panel. If we have any clarifications to seek, we will call on you to seek those clarifications. Fortunately, this is a nationwide activity. And in our last uh, National Economic Council meeting, it was decided that all states should submit their reports on the investigations that were carried out as a result of NSAT. So we expect that we'll have both a national comprehensive response and an endo-specific response to the unfortunate incidents that led to the destructions we saw last year. I, on a final note, want to say that the NSAS demonstrations of last year were a pointer to the fundamental injustices in our society and that all of us, particularly political leaders in this country, must begin to understand that if we do not listen to the yearnings of our people more, if we continue to carry on as if we are in power for ourselves, we pray that the situation of last year does not reoccur. Although, if it does, then the answers we experienced will be a joke. I want to assure you that in Edo State, we will continue to enforce the rights of our citizens. We will continue to ensure that we focus on our young ones and ensure that they are and continue to be our priority. 
I want to thank you once again for an amazing work you have all done and to say the only thank you we can as government render is to go study this report and make sure that as much as humanly possible to implement your findings to the letter. Thank you very much. The GMO of the panel, Honorable Justice Ada Ehigiamuso, come thank Oga Governor for the opportunity where them give him to serve, and he can give the details of waiting the panel receive. Your Excellency, with your calm permission, we stand here today to submit the report regarding the exercise protest. Your Excellency will recall that there was a nationwide protest last year leveled against a section of the Nigerian police, the special anti-robbery squad, popularly known as SARS, bordering on brutality, extortion, amongst other things. Sadly, the said protest was hijacked by hoodrums, which uh, culminated in a nationwide breakdown of law and order, resulting in wanton destruction of properties, killings, and so on. Premised on this, your Excellency set up and inaugurated a 28-man judicial panel of inquiry on the 26th of October 2020 to embark on a fact-finding mission to the then ongoing crisis between the citizens and the security operatives. Your Excellency, may I digress a little to appreciate you regarding the composition of the said panel. It is encompassing and a representation of the wide spectrum of the entire state. For instance, the members included the Academic Staff Union of the University, known as ASU, the Nigerian Youth Council of Nigeria, representing the youths, the representatives of the Christians and Muslims. There are also the professionals, the security forces, the ENSAS representatives, the National Council of Women's Societies, the Nigerian Union of Journalists, the Nigerian Human Rights Commission, the National Association of Nigerian Students and the Nigerian Correctional Center, otherwise previously known as the prisons. These various representatives afforded us, the members of the panel, a conducive and invigorating atmosphere to reach out to various affected victims and others. Your Excellency, at the inauguration, you graciously preferred a total number of six terms of reference for the panel to work with. And in addition to this, we on our own formulated our own guidelines in print to govern our day-to-day -day proceedings. We also got the services of a signed writer, interpreter, one Mrs. Osarati Charity, who is head of Special Education Unit in Hobe College, Venicity, to assist in reaching out to the deaf and dumb. Summarily, the terms of reference your Excellency provided for us are as follows. We are enjoined to receive petitions from the general public who are victims or their relatives of police brutality, extrajudicial killings and related offenses arising from the protest. We are also enjoined to investigate the petitions, then recommend compensation where desirable. We are also to recommend for prosecution's offenders to the Office of the Attorney General of the States. And then finally, not the least, to recommend our findings to forestall a recurrence in future of the said sad event. In the course of our proceedings, a total number of 170 petitions were filed. 25 of them were struck out for lack of diligence, 10 were dismissed for lacking in merit. Having struck out 25 petitions, dismissed 10 for lacking in diligence and merit respectively, we were then left with 135 petitions, which we have considered to be meritorious. Having so considered and found, we have made our recommendations to Your Excellency. It is noteworthy to state that the 10 petitions out of the 135 sought the enforcement of rights of various high courts against the police for acts of brutality and extrajudicial killings. We recommended the payment of compensations to the victims or their families 
for the aforementioned acts of the police. We further recommended the enforcement of all the judgments in debt as granted by the courts, which have not been complied with today by the police. In the course of our proceedings, Your Excellency, the panel visited the various locals in court to assess the alleged damages and destruction of properties, thereby giving us a visual eyewitness account. The pictorial views of these visits are contained in our reports. Notably was the case of one bride, Osarobo, and one other who are deaf and dumb and hospitalized at the University of Benin Teaching Hospital with damaged spinal cord and genitals, respectively, whom we visited. Each sustained these injuries as a result of shootings during the protest. We are gratified to know that Your Excellency paid off their medical bills. Further still, we bring to Your Excellency's kind attention to the cases of the undermentioned petitioners, one Ohimai Asekame, Miracle Okoria. They were hit by stray and identifiable bullets, respectively, which resulted in amputated lips. We invite and appeal most passionately to Your Excellency to consider their plight in terms of possible employment. Your Excellency, in summing up, we have made a detailed analysis of our findings and recommendations in our reports in compliance with the terms of reference given to the panel for Your Excellency's kind perusal and further directives. Again, we thank Your Excellency most profusely and profoundly for finding us worthy to serve in this esteemed panel. It has been an amazing experience to each and every one of us. It gave us an in-depth preview to the challenges of governance. We also thank profusely the Deputy Governor and the Secretary to the State Government for their immense and unquantifiable support. The Obonge people wait and die for the meeting. I do State Governor Mr. Godwin Obaseki, Secretary to State Government Osarodion Ogi Esquire, the Chairperson Ensa's Judicial Panel of Inquiry, Honorable Justice Ada Ehigia Musoi, retired among others. This one at the Obonge informate with TMC TV carry come given up on top the cocoa for today. My name Nachidima Anichuku from Benin.